What challenges you most about deciding what type of client is best for your company? Everyone gets excited about the biggest fun brands, but they're the ones who are willing to spend the least amount of money because <laughs> everyone wants to work for them. Um, but then again, you might have what's called a boring client, yet they have, you know, they have great marketing budgets and they want to spend because they want to do big things because they have to be louder in order to get people's attention. Um, so it's a, it's a balance. What we do every year at Care Creative is we have everyone write down a list of the three brands they want to work with. And the partners have it. We take a look at this list. And then at the end of sometimes it's six months, sometimes a year, depending on the growth. Uh, but after we did this actually three weeks ago, we went back and read to all, the, uh, all of our People, all of our employees, hey, here are the, 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 the clients everyone was asking for. And you don't have to put your name on it, but you read off. And, you know, some of them uh, we didn't get. Some of them we were in discussions with. And it was funny because, you know, I think about five of the names we actually won and were working with. And out of three of them, people in the long run said these were the worst clients that we ended up working with. But at the time, that's what they wanted. So you want to try to give the brands that your staff wants because that keeps them energetic. But then they realize more and more that sometimes it's the small, quiet brand and, you know, on the West Coast that is, you know, much better to work with and loan because they respect our process, they respect what we're doing and they're excited that we've decided to work with them versus the big, you know, New York City brand that everyone wants to get. Once you get it, you realize it might not be, you know, the best thing for you.